Go check the team, go check the team. You gonna start back there first, y'all come out of here. I thought you gonna start back there first. Yeah. 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 It don't matter, it don't matter. It's raining, it's raining, it's raining. Yeah. 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 Alright, Shalom Wall. Shalom Wall. Alright, first and foremost, we're gonna face the East and we'll give all honor and glory and power to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushat, Bashem, Kapadash. We we'll gonna say double honors to our elders, our great apostles, great millstone, GMS, who rule well and teach well, being great example to Israel, man the elect, all right? We we'll gonna say peace and blessings to the hope of the elect on the four corner, putting the truth in sincerity, that great song. We GMS Middle Scout. We also got the brothers from Nashville, man, all right? And it's a beautiful thing how we can get together, all right, in a unity to bring out the truth, all right? Bring out this word, all right, this good news, the gospel we have by Shemar Shop, man. That's spread throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right? We want to say peace and blessing to hopefully let. And I hope you brothers and sisters be edified while we lay the law down, man. All right? Uh, matter of fact, we're going to uh, just, uh, just a nine and 14. I know y'all going to split. Yeah, yeah. We're going to just a nine and 14. Oh, you, you, you want the ride? You keep the ride? Okay. Yeah, you keep the ride. Okay, cool. Yeah, now we want to split. This is it for now, 1 and 14. Uh, the great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hates of greatly. The what? The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hates of greatly. See, the great day of the Lord is near, man. All right? And who is that talking about? They're talking about the Heavenly Father. He's going to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, who is worthy even to call Jesus Christ, man. He's going to send him. And guess what? He's coming to deliver and to destroy. All right, so guess what? He is near. All right, and he hastens it greatly. All right, meaning what? Time is almost up. All right, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Our salvation is near that we believe in, man. All right, go ahead, bro. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty men should cry there bitterly. The who? The mighty men should cry their bitterly. The mighty men going to cry bitterly. Why? Because they're going to see the downfall of their kingdom. Because the mighty men are going to who? The elite. Yeah. All right? You're going to the, the sword, which is, you know what I'm saying, going to the army. All right? The navy, the marine. All right? They're going to cry, cry bitterly, man. Why? Because the downfall of their kingdom is going to be no longer in their rulership, no longer in their power. All right, so they're gonna be crying and weeping like a hoe, like Esau was when he going to the book of Genesis. Yeah. He wept, man. All right, and he know what he have done. That's just like the time that we gonna come into. Esau know what he done, man. He know he did break, rob, and murder the chosen people of the Lord, stuff the apple of the Lord's eye, and then when time comes when the Lord brings judgment upon him, he gonna cry yeah. instead of taking it like a man. You see that? The devil ain't gonna take it like a man, man. Go ahead, bro. You got something out? That day is a day of wrath. That day is a day of wrath, man. See, one thing about it, and what Christianity is not telling our people, the Lord is angry. All right? Hey, one of y'all brothers, uh, go down there and cut them out. And no, one. No, no, no. I didn't even like it. No, no, no. I'm saying one of them brothers go down there and cut them out. Yeah, we did again now. Everybody had one of y'all. Zephaniah 1 and 15. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble. Right, a what? A day of trouble. Who trouble? All right, Jacob trouble. You see? Because they trying to push this narrative, all right, and Esau and the other nations trying to slide in to the blessing. No, it's a day of trouble, man. It's our trouble, man. Why? Because we disobey the Lord. All right? Yeah. Now, guess what? Judgment is going to go forth. You see that? Judgment is going to go forth throughout the earth, man. Yeah, Esau going to get what he deserves, but also what? Two thirds of our people. All right? Go ahead, brother. A day of wasteness and desolation. A day of who? A day of wasteness and desolation. Why? Because of the thermonuclear missiles. All right, the thermonuclear missile is going to make this place waste, desolate. All right? Yeah, I know it. I'm for real. She knows it. 
a day of wasteness and desolation, right. a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. Yeah, and a, a day of darkness and thick darkness. You see that? Yeah. Why? Because it ain't gonna be no light. Yeah. You know? It ain't gonna, it might bro. What it say? Ain't no sunshine when she gone. <laughs> ain't no sunshine when she gone. So what are they talking about? When the spirit leaves. Wisdom in the earth. So guess what? When the Lord takes the spirit out the earth, when the elect is being sealed, once the elect is sealed, ain't no more sunshine. It's straight up what? Death, destruction, famine, anguish. You see that? That's what's going to be left for this place, man. No, it, it, it's going to go down, man. At the water you have by Shemal Shad that we at the end of the end, man. All right, go ahead. In Proverbs 21 and 16, the man that wandered out the way of understanding. The man that wandered out the way of understanding of what? This knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding of what? The Bible. Mm -hmm. You see that? So you wander out the way of the law and, and doing what's pleasing to the Lord, what's going to happen? Shall remain in the congregation of the day. Then you're going to be out of, you, you, you're still in the same position you was in. See that? Because the Lord always gives you an opportunity. All right? That's why they won't have no cluck for their sins. It's because the Lord gave you an opportunity to return it to him. But you chose not, or you guess what? You didn't have a faith. You see that? If I may add, that's the Lord still stretching his hand out to Israel, man. Yeah. All right? He said, hey, I will, uh, I will not utterly consume the house of Jacob. Uh -huh. Man, the Lord showed mercy plenty of times. But guess what, man? Eventually, mercy going to turn into wrath. And then what's that going to do? Bloodshed, death, destruction. All right? Because what? The Lord is a man of war. Mm -hmm. All right? Because when you look at the man that the uh, war is in, bloodshed, it's an accident. All right, and the Lord, the Lord loves that man. All right, so if you if you depart from the understanding of Yahweh by Shemar Shai, you put yourself in a, in, a, in a bad situation. All right, you put yourself in a horrible situation, man. That you what you can't get yourself out of. Yeah. Now what they say in the world, you write a check with your ass can't pay. <laughs> All right, when you not talking to the force of Yahweh by Shemar Shai, and he and he give, and he granted you the opportunity. And you despise it. You cast about you. You say, right, I'm going to wait because I got to chase this bag. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I ain't got to. Nah. The Lord going to fuck you up, man. All right? So at best, if the Lord put the spirit on you, all right, to hearken, man, hey, put your best foot forward, man. Because everybody um, blessed and, 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 and given the gift to understanding this word, man. Okay. One more All right. This is Luke 3 and 13 and 3, I tell you nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. See? And you repent. See, that's that, that what the whole thing about right now. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to Jake last night. He was like, man, what about grace? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, we're, yeah, we're in the grace period now. But you don't take that grace period and try to do what the hell you want to do. And then at the end of the day, when you're on your last leg, Okay, I won't give myself to God. I, 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 I wanna, I'm going to go to church and, 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 and I'm, I'm going to be baptized. I'm going to change my life. When you on your last leg? Hey, the Lord said, pray not like the vain he was praying, you know? Because that's vain prayer right there. Like, right, right. You wait until you got into a bad uh, situation uh, uh, to, to pray for and seek my name. Uh, uh, but that, that just happened for Amy. Uh, uh, you know what the dead I do? Yeah. You tell me real quick, Doc. Seek the Lord the dead I do. Now that's Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. That's 12 and 1. Yep. Go ahead, Doc. What you got? Uh, oh, ooh, that's not going to go down. Man. That's all we going to go down. Go ahead, Doc. It's Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Right. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. It said who? In the days of thy youth. You got to remember your how about Shema Shana did thy youth, man. So when the Lord uh, 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 presents you the truth, that, that's your youth. All right? That's your youth. Because that's the beginning. You see that? Go ahead, Doc. Why the evil days come not? Why the evil days come not? Because why time is coming. Time is coming, man. The great and dreadful day of the Lord is fast and approaching. That's why I say hastily and greatly. So when the Lord uh, presents you this, this knowledge and wisdom understanding, 
You got to run with it. If not, the Lord going to fuck you up. Go ahead, huh? Nor the years draw not what? when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Oh, when? When? When he take peace from the earth. All right? The Lord ain't going to have no pleasure in this world soon. What they did, Amos, uh... Amen. What did Amos, uh, 8 and 11? Uh, the family of the word? Yep. Get that real quick, y'all. Cause that's what's gonna happen. You got a quick one? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Cause that's what's gonna happen. Right up, man. This, go ahead, y'all. This is Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Uh. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. He said what? Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord, man. All right? So when the Lord grant you this opportunity, come to his house, you try to bring it to the marriage, make no terror. You know what I'm saying? You, you, try, you try your best to do everything you can, all right? In your power, in your will. You know, that's why prayer is there. You have to pray. You have to fast. You have to act. You see that? Go ahead, huh? And put not out from day to day. And that's what a lot of people look. Hey, how about you talk about your power? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, put out not day to day. Yeah. And a lot of our people put the Lord out. Just like that, just like that nigga. Remember, remember that nigga came up, he stayed the whole time. He said, uh, I stay right down the street. There's no reason why I should come. He did. Did he not right. say that? Yeah. Did he not say that? He said it. When, when the last time he been out? Man, not one. Why? Because he put out day to day. Well, I, I ain't gonna go here. I'm gonna try to go this week. Well, I ain't gonna go there. I'm gonna try to go. Maybe you see? He didn't get away from the good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we were trying to tell him how the Lord controlled our things, but he said he got free will. So you don't supposed to put out day to day when it comes down to this word. All right? You say, fuck it, I'm gonna sacrifice this. If I gotta lose my woman, I gotta lose my job, I gotta, you know what I'm saying? I gotta lose this, I gotta lose that. Guess what? I'm gonna lose it. Because I know my situation gonna be better within the Lord. But niggas don't think like that. Why? Because niggas don't read and niggas don't listen. Alright? We out here telling you and warning you, alright, of the devil there you have by Shimon Shah. Alright? And we're trying to tell you, man, your best interest is in your high by Shimon Shah. Alright? If you don't put your trust and your faith in the Lord, you're done. <clears throat> done, man. Go ahead, uh. This Amos 8 and 11, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, yeah, how about Shema was shot? Hold on, go back to the uh, other priest that we read first, and then we're going to grab that <laughs> What I had? Talk about what you just read? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Please ask me 12 and 1. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, then you said 2, though. 12, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 1. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. He has a pleasure in there. Go ahead, uh. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Right. While the evil days come not. Right. Nor the years draw now when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right. Why? Because the pleasure is now. Matter of fact, um, grab uh, 2 Ezra uh, 9. 2 Ezra 9 and 11. See, the pleasure is now. Yeah. Why? Because you got to live with it. You see? The door of pictures is open. You see how you can come and be delivered? You can come and repent and change your ways? That's the pleasure that the Lord still have in the earth right now. That's the mercy, that's his right hand being what? Stretched out still. But when? The Lord gonna take his hand away. So when he take his hand away, what? He's taking his word away. So when he take his word away, what's gonna happen? Destruction. Yeah. It's gonna be over with for you. Regret, huh? You see? <laughs> Regret. Damn, man, I'm so damn, man. You don't want to be a woulda, shoulda, coulda nigga, man. We're trying to instill this in you, man. That's why we push and we push and we trying to shove this truth, you know, down your throat, man. Two thirds gonna have this spirit in the kingdom of regret. The everlasting shame. That's right. You know, because they, they gonna realize all the men that you, they was talking shit about, these are actually the men of the Lord, you know, which we come out and humbly say. We don't come out with pride and say that, you know, we humbly speaking. That's right, because nobody else is doing the things that we're doing. But, hey, that's going to be that downfall. Man, shit. and that's yeah, beautiful, though. Do with us. That's beautiful. Go ahead, Tamaya, real quick with that 9-11, and we're going to jump right back to that thing, man. No pleasure in there. You know what I'm saying?
Go ahead, bro. This is 2nd Edris, chapter 9, verse 11. And they that have loaded my law while they had yet liberty. He said what? They that have loaded the Lord's law while they yet had liberty. Those that didn't even give a damn. Those that didn't even consider them. You know? What the, what the, what the Jake said last week? <laughs> Man, Jake knew. I told Jake, I told Jake no last weekend. I said, now y'all know y'all Israelite. The man said, man, we really don't even care about it. I said, the Lord gonna kill you, motherfucker. Yeah. The Lord gonna kill you, man. You don't even consider. You hear me? The nigga didn't even consider, bro. And he wanna and he wanna joke around in front of them hoes. The Lord gonna kill that nigga, man. I brought this out, man. You know? But but guess what? Why they yet had liberty, they learned the law of the Lord. Because they've been taught by the serpent how to how to uh, maneuver and move in this society without a fucking cur. You see, you gotta move with cur. You gotta move with cur. You see that? You gotta, you see, that's the thing about our people, they don't move with cur, man. Where's the beginning of knowledge and wisdom understanding? You gotta fill the Lord. You see that? Because once you step up out the door, you ain't gotta step out the door. You can walk up in your house. And the Lord can put your ass to death. Right. Yeah, a lot of people that drop dead walking to the bathroom. A lot of people in there and, and went to sleep and never woke back up. You see? So you gotta always walk with the fear of your high by shot. But our people lowering the law of the Lord, why they got liberty to eat and drink and, and walk and, and marry and, and do all these things in this society, which is what? Wicked. It's vanity. Let me say that. I ain't gonna say wicked. It's vanity. Because guess what? At the end of the day, you lean what? To nothing. You see? Yeah, I can, I, can, I can go out and party all day. I can do my thing. But where's my salvation at? How can we be saved? You know what I'm saying? Going to the club, spending my money, and getting a chick and pop her, and getting there. At the end of the day, what, 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 how, how can I be saved? So all that shit is what? It's vanity. Because it's the only way you're gonna be saved, man. Got no works. Exactly. Go ahead, Tamaya. When as yet place of repentance was open Wait, unto them. When as yet place of repentance was open unto right. them. And, and we gonna read that because the Lord gonna take his pleasure out the earth, which is what? The word. Yeah. The knowledge and the understanding. You see, and the wisdom. He gonna take it out the earth. You see that? Because the family of the word is coming soon. Yeah. And it's beautiful. <laughs> He gonna take the wisdom of wickedness out too. Because it's saying wickedness is not wisdom. So these people gonna be in the beast state of mind. That's why you got purge. That's why you got all these war world Z, like everybody just getting in the street uh, and start fighting. Yeah. Because they gonna be without knowledge. Yeah. They gonna be like zombies. Yeah, they, they gonna be blue beast. Yeah. You know? And that's beautiful. Go ahead, I'll go to my understood not, but despised it. They understood not, but they despised it. Why? Because, well, I, 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 can, I, can, I can wait. I got a couple more years. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple more years. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't got to do it right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm trying to get me a degree. You know what I'm saying? Jake, all, 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 all types of bullshit. The Lord gonna slap the shit out you, man. It says, seek the Lord and dare thy youth, man. So when you hear the truth, you're supposed to run with it. Just like you catch that motherfucking football, you put that ball in your hand. What you gonna do? You gonna try to shoot it? You gonna try to run and get a touchdown? Yeah. That's how you're supposed to be with the truth when you hear it. All right? Accomplish something, man. Yeah. You accomplish something in the spirit of your high by some All right? Go ahead. I got uh, This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 2. Whether the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not dark. Right, that's, that's the answer, right? Yeah, right. Let's go to uh, uh, Ammo 8 and 11. Right, right. This is Amos 8 and 11. Right. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, Yahweh Shema Vashah, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. But it is coming. You see? That's another thing. But what's the most important, what is the most important bread and water? The word. See? The word. Because the word is a representation of what? The bread. And it's a representation of what? The water. Bread of life. You see? And a and a fountain of what? Living water. So the Lord said he ain't gonna send no family of bread and water, even though it's coming. But what's gonna happen, bro? No a thirst of water, right? but of hearing. 
the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. See, and that's the Lord's pleasure. That's why I say he ain't gonna have no pleasure once he takes his word out the earth. Once it once it takes his in, start with the apostles, elders the great millstone. I'm gonna tell to these brothers, all right, and those that 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 uh 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 believe wholeheartedly in the truth, once he take them off the street corner, it's over with. See that? Now the Lord ain't got no pleasure. Why? Because the truth ain't now here. See, now you can't be a Now you can't be comfort. You know what I'm saying? Comfort. Because that's all it is. That's pleasure. Pleasure is called comfort. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because when you try to please your woman, you what? Comforting her. Or she yeah. trying to please you. She what? She comforting you. I just want to be around you. What that is? Comfort. That's what it is. Hey. You know what? This world is like the opposite of open rebuke. It's better than secret love. <laughs> this world is like it's like open love is better than rebuke. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how they move. They move. The, they move opposite towards the scripture. And what the and what the Lord said? Surely things the turning the upside, upside down, down shall be a what? Esteem is the Father's <laughs> faith. That's why the Lord sent the prophets out here because everything doing this right here, yeah, the Lord gonna make sure that motherfucker do exactly <laughs> like this, how it's supposed to be. Right. Yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. Everything gonna be exactly like that. Like the day they uh, grab the machine, you grab one of them little chest things and try to move your daddy like this shit back down. Right. Right big in the spot. <laughs> right. You be like, damn. That shit, even fucking, um, even fucking batteries, you put them bitches upside down, they ain't gonna work. Unless you put in a certain guy. You gotta be put in the same way. So exactly, man. That's all it is, man. In a certain right. order. If it ain't got it that order. And it says, you know, uh, uh, scriptures talk about man should not live by uh, bread alone. Uh huh. Ooh, by fact, every living somebody, word. Grab right. Second Ezra 16 and real quick. 16 to start at 18. Because this 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 the beginning of him taking the pleasure out the earth. Yeah. It's so cold though. So remember, the so-called white man finna come down, have a great wrath, no, he had no but a short time. Right. See that that's how you know the Lord gonna take the pledge out the earth. You see? Because that's what it ain't gonna be no knowledge and wisdom of what? The understanding of the Bible no more. You see? So now these these things that been teaching this world gotta be like prison. You know what I'm saying? We on the move. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people gonna be struck. And, and, and like you say, they're gonna be what out. Hey, they're gonna be good people. Come on, man. I'm like, damn, man, you Call know. Regret. <laughs> yeah, regret. Go ahead, Doc. This is, this is 2nd Andrews, chapter 16, verse 18. Uh, the beginning of sorrows in great mourning. The who? The beginning of sorrows in great mourning. Why? Because the Lord took the pleasure out of the earth, which is what? The knowledge. Go ahead. The beginning of famine the in who? great death. The beginning of who? The beginning of famine in great death. Didn't I, didn't I say? Come on, man. It's coming. But just the Lord taking a pledge out of the earth. See, see, pleasure, like I say, is comfort. So now you can't go to a restaurant. You can't ride up to McDonald's. You know, you niggas love Keith. McDonald's. Can't go see Keith. Right. You can't get a, you can't get a, 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 a ten piece nugget. Yeah. All right, with, with a mixed flurry. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Lord gonna take all that shit away. You know what I'm saying? You can't get on back page. Oh, 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 you know, on your little freaking site. <laughs> the Lord gonna take that away. The pledge is gonna be gone, cause the Lord said the the, the uh the murk of the land shall what? Cease. Cease. So the Lord gonna take all the pleasure away. Now your mind gonna be geared towards who? The Lord. But it's too motherfucking late. Ooh. Hey, you see that how beautiful it is, bro. <laughs> hey, my man, hey, your mind gonna be geared towards the Lord that you have no relationship <laughs> with. Hey, I nah, like the Lord. Hey, the Lord. That's why I say, uh, that we prophesied that name. I never knew. Before. I never. Ooh. You know, you been praying to Jesus. You ain't been bro. praying to me, bro. bro. You ain't been on no chemistry with me, so how can I deal with you? Bro, it's so beautiful because uh, remember the first lockdown. I received so many calls. <laughs> damn, the nitro. Damn, the nitro. You were right. Man, the nitro, man. Damn, man. Woo, woo, woo. Look, no, man. All this is about when the first lockdown happened. Just imagine when this shit is not going to ever go back like that. But you, but you see, they ain't even, they, they ain't pull up though. They, they did. They just like, look, like, you as, right. As soon as, as soon as the shit opened back up, they went right back. Because my cousin hit me up. And he was posting, talking about, yeah, man, my cousin been telling y'all for the longest. I'm like, nigga, you the fuck? 
But as soon as the shit open back up, you back to being a nigga. <laughs> you ain't even, you ain't stopped ever being a nigga. Man. But you, you pushed it even worse. Hey, hey, man, when, you got people. hey I, when you call me on, when they call you on the phone, all they did was just basically mock themselves because you told yeah. them specifically date and they came back. Hey, that's how you know there's gonna be no cloak for your seat. You know, exactly. Because exactly. yeah. you acknowledge, you acknowledge, you acknowledge to yeah. a prophet of the Lord that you was correct. Yeah, but look. And you still bullshit. Yeah, because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. everybody that hit that hit us up during that time. Hey, they should be. They should be at the camp. Yeah, you know what I'm here. saying. Yeah, so, they should be here. That's right, brother. They should be here. That's on them because they saw it. Just like Noah, when he was out there prophesying. <coughs> yeah, a lot of people saw it. Shit, everybody. Come on, man. He ain't. He ain't not the building that motherfucking uh, ark for nothing. Yeah. He ain't not the. You know what I'm saying? No, oh, oh. can't be. But they 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 counted his work for vanity. It's like they count all works of vanity. They think that we're out here in the rain. You know, yeah. But they, they think that we out here in the rain just because we bored. You know, there, there's millions <laughs> of other things that Jake could be doing on a Saturday evening. But we're choosing to serve y'all by shooting y'all shot. But they deem it as nothing. They, these, these people, these are, it, it, we understand why the Most High flooded the earth. These are the exact same niggas back in the ancient days. You know, yeah. going against Noah, right. going against right. the prophet. Because you building that motherfucker off for yeah. man. Yeah, I mean, cause I'm happen. talking Noah could have probably been on a third board, third board. He's still nailing that Jake motherfucker. Talking in. Shit. Yeah, Walking, talking shit. Yeah, talking shit. Man, you been up there, motherfucker, for ten days. Man, right. the hell are you talking about, man? Just talking hella shit, cash shit. Then and it just then, keeps going on. Then look, as the years go by. Yeah, still talk, even worse. Man. <laughs> but then here it is, that one day come. That we all talk about that one day come with a judgment coming, and now Jake, Ooh. now Jake wanna bang on on the door. Hey, ah, right, can look, 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 think about it though, think about it. Sixty years, bro, that's seventy long, years. That's a long time. Damn, look how long the apostles been out here. Hey, look how niggas doing tonight. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Mocking it. You know what I'm saying? Trying to go against, go against the apostles. Thirty plus years. And we I was, just imagine 60 years. But, uh, but even it, because it's really the same thing, because back then we was living long. And it, so it's the exact same thing, bro. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. No yep. new thing under the sun. I just thought it was 60. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. What, you know, whatever yep. may, the case may be. Exactly. And then, here it is, 120 plus years. Noah's out there telling them that it was going right as it's going right now as we speak. Every nigga, every nigga on the earth scoffed until he he, he felt his head get wet. Bro, it's Ryan <laughs> as Noah like spoke that. of it back <laughs> then. Nigga felt that motherfucker like that. But you are, right, but you just like, uh, just like uh, what you just spoke of when, when this whole pandemic thing started up. Right. But even back then, if you remember, uh. When they had like that missile threat in Hawaii, yeah, uh -huh. and a brother's life got flooded. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. So it's man. like these people know. Where, who do you think these people automatically ran to when the rain started coming? No, because they already knew who it was. Yeah. Probably our child. Hey, man, look. Before you even <laughs> shut that, let me holler at you. <laughs> nah, bro, it's too late. It's, all it's too late for that. Noah still came on. He was like, but, tell me. And that's why you know the scriptures talked when they said that. You know, the right. Lord sealed that because, mm -hmm. hey, man, you know Jake. You know, hey, hey, you know, hey. You, oh, you got show mercy now, nah, man. <laughs> hey, 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 we're going to answer that uh, finish that last yeah, cut. Because it's like point and 12 for the 13. Oh, uh, pitiful case. This, okay, yep. this is back at 2nd address, chapter 16, verse 18. Go on the, to that. But we're going to have to finish this before we go into the door. Man. Go oh, ahead. Now. The beginning of sorrows in great mourning, the beginning of famine in great death. Nah, 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 go back to uh, 9 and 11. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, go back to 9, I think it's like 9 and 12, 9 and 13, because they said it's pitiful case. 2nd Ezra is 9 and 6. 9 and 6. Yeah, there we go, there we go. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9. And jump back into all that time. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9, verse 11. I'm back you up right here, I'm saying. Go ahead. And they that have loaded my law. While they had yet liberty, uh -huh. it was at yet place of repentance was open up right, to them. Right, because the pleasure of the Lord is still available. Yeah. You see, because he said we have to do things that are pleasing unto him. And what pleasing unto the Lord? 
making your body a living sacrifice. Coming yeah. out here and standing boldly in the face of such has to afflict you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it speaks about all right, uh, uh, standing boldly. You know what I'm saying? It speaks about that, man. So this is what pleases unto the Lord. All right? Go ahead now. When that jack place of repentance was open unto them, right? Un understood not, but despised they it. They understood not. Because they don't, they don't, see, the thing is, they don't have the eyes to see and the ears to hear. But the water you have by Shemal Shah, that he gave us the eyes to see and the ears to hear. You see that? Go ahead. The same must know it after death by pain. One more time, say what? The same must know it after death by pain. And that was going to happen. See, they're going to know it after death by pain, which is going to what? The thermal nuclear system. Then they don't know they fucked up. Why? Right? Because they're going to see. You know? Now go back to what you had. Now go ahead. I got that word despise in the etymology. It means to look down upon, scorn, disdain, treat with contempt. Right? To look down on and scorn. Right? To look down on. Because Jake don't respect this. You know, they say we bigger than they're they, they look, they look down on us, man. Yeah. They call it what? Bomber life? They call it bomber life, man. Y'all yeah. niggas ain't getting no money. Y'all niggas poor as hell, nigga. Like, really? And, and it shows the, the stupidity uh, of our people because they're, they're, you know, they come to us, like the brother said, with all these negative comments and, and insults, but they don't carry none of these, these type of saying, as bitches say in the world, keep that same energy. They don't keep that same energy. With, with the so-called white man, they don't keep that same energy with these with these Christian pastors, yeah. these Muslim niggas. Yeah. You know, they they treat all their doctrines as as, as gold. Yeah. They treat it like it actually holds weight. Right. Our words mean weight. Their, their words don't mean shit, man. Right. And these are the words that you have about Shemal Shai. But you go ahead, bro. Oh, that's good, British, I'm gonna back you up on that one. Because yeah. huh. yeah. they don't. Yeah, they don't. You know, they don't know how she got the shit that we do. That's Shit, I can't huh. This, yeah. This is a rock type saying in 23. Right. When a rich man speak of every man but, holdeth his tongue. Right, now, and that's the thing. <laughs> like you just said, right. <laughs> you know, because even, even when you check it at concerts, man, you might go to a concert, some nigga performing, but if he be like, hey, hold, hold, hold real quick, everybody listen yeah, up. For real. It's just shit just. Kevin Gates. Yeah. He go up there with they Muslim shit. He be like, hey, hey, hold on. Everybody be quiet. They go, you hear the crowd. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> niggas closing their phones. You know, niggas closing their phones. Niggas putting their shit on silent. You know what I'm saying? Let me cut my phone off. You know, put his gun on safety and shit. Put it in his pocket. But you know, Jacob ride down here. It's happened multiple times. Jacob ride down here. At the speed, you know, stop like I, I ain't got no blast training. I ain't got no blast training, music, bro. Hell can't pull up at the light yeah. and just drive the fuck out here. 200 hey! guys. Hey! 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 It's like <laughs> the, the, the true words of the Heavenly Father and His Holy Begotten Son are being spoken, and you have no type of uh, uh, respect for it. No simply respect. put, no and you people, Jake is going to be the main ones wondering why the Most High is going to do you. Like he's finna do you, man. Yeah. Hey, cause they look what? down upon it. Like it's like the, the spy. They look down yeah. upon this, man. Yeah, man. You know, because it don't fit them. To you know that, it man? don't fit into that person. Nigga, a nigga say, uh, that's your beliefs. Nigga, this is what you supposed to be under. <laughs> you a Jake. Yeah, what you talking about? This is my belief. That's what you, that's just what you believe. No, right, nigga. Right, right. You correct. That's what I believe. But your dumb ass should be doing this too. You see how simple our people are? Hey, yeah, but he's simple. doing what he's doing though, right? because Jake's separating they self yeah. from you. How? Hey, they fake, man. I ain't that's really that. about the Lord, man. They about Jesus though. They gonna yeah. die for that nigga. Why? 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 Why, why is they about Jesus? Why? Ask yourself. Why did this nigga love Jesus? Because the motherfucking serpent. Yeah. Motherfucking so-called white man yeah. had slapped the shit out on to the point that that's all they know. Cause, yeah. cause and he beat it in them. That's why the Lord got the prophets out here. And we're trying to beat the truth in y'all. But, but that's the thing. That's, and they, and they, they love Jesus, man, because honestly, 
realistically, he doesn't. But he had, to them, he has more. Jesus has more to offer than, than the heavenly Father is going to be God's son. Yeah, right. Because what does he offer? Pleasures Love. of the flesh. Love. He yep. offering pleasures of the flesh. Because yep. see, Jake don't want to come in the truth and get chastised and lose his job and right, his car right, right. and his woman. His, 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 his American you know, character. Yeah, you know. I, yeah. I, I, when you, when you, you come to say Jesus, boy. You, you, but you, hey, you win it. You, win. you got everything. Nigga, we made it. A, a nigga can buy B.B. <laughs> King right now. <laughs> right under Jesus. Right, nigga, you we know? made it. Right. <laughs> so, but that's why. Because how about she my side? He don't, quote unquote, offer nothing to these people. Hey, That's because they not facts. looking at it in the spiritual sense. Facts, because uh. we have been given everything since we came into this truth. Facts, We've uh. lost everything, but we have gained everything. We, hey. And we're set, we're storing up for ourselves treasures in heaven. Man, you, but right, you know bro. the most thing that we gain is, as we come out here week in, week out, this season, out of season, bro, yeah. we gain in faith yeah. and salvation. <laughs> right. You see? And we gain that and, and, and the most thing we gain the mercy of the Lord. Right. You see, we gain the mercy, man. See the Lord looking down upon this and he having mercy on us. Oh my faithful servant. You know, my faithful servant, you coming down here teaching in the rain. A lot of a lot of dudes, yo, know, are you out seeing them? They ain't out here. They not. Since, since it got cold, <laughs> since it got cold. Hey, we, I ain't even seen them out there where my mama stay at. Like, it's cold when it was hot, when it was hot, they were out there. But well, since it got cold, they ain't been out there, bro. You know? I don't, I don't even want to know how their council go between them when they get cold. Man, right, look, we just gon' look, fuck the shit. We just gon' stay, <laughs> yeah, we just gon' stay, stay here. Then Niggas so taking a group vote. <laughs> <shit. laughs> right, bro, bro, bro. It's it like, it's like disregard what the Lord said. Because they know the Lord said it be instant in season, out of season. But, but these, these, are still like it, brother. these are the same type of Jake that will go around talking about, oh, well, the, the scripts don't say to go out every weekend. So they'll use some shit like that. They'll use it. They'll try to use it to their advantage. Well, the scriptures don't definitely say go out every weekend. It says be instant in season, out of season. You know. What you got from me? So what what they think what they take from that, shit, we could just pick a season. Yeah. God damn it. Summer. <laughs> That's it. Be instant. We're gonna be instant in summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're oh, gonna hide how it go. <laughs> that ain't how I go. Because now you try to feed that's just like you trying to feed, you know what I'm saying? Like you trying to feed a dog. Man. You gonna feed your dog uh 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 uh, uh oh, once a month? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You want to feed your dog once a month? Like, come on, bro. It don't make no sense. You gonna die? Hey, y'all. This is what they doing, now. Nah. This is Sirach chapter five, verse seven. Yeah, this is what I hear. Bring it out again. Yeah, verse seven. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not out from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. In that security, that shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So when you in your pajamas with the footies and shit, drinking hot chocolate, watching the Grinch, 25 days countdown to Christmas, the Lord come Nigga on TPS. Nigga hanged up his garment on the... Uh, uh, on the Man, Nigga hanged up his garment up. in the closet. Man, Bible, Bible clothes. Uh, he, hey, he, he on vacation, chilling with his family. That's your security. And what the Lord is gonna do is he gonna infiltrate your security, kick down your door with the with Esau, those troops, and they ain't gonna speak no English. I right? when they do this and you do something different, and they will tell you to get that, they're gonna shoot your ass. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I come in like uh, That's Isaiah. Uh, 59 and 20. Yeah. Isaiah, I know it says something like 59 and 19, I think. Or 20. Yeah, I grabbed it real quick. Isaiah 59. And we're going to go back to the, uh, the pleasure. Oh, okay. We're going to take the pleasure right to this place. So really, he's taking them to the, uh, the understanding of what it is. So this was this was keeping this was keeping America uh, uh, afloat, all right. But the leg being sealed. 
know what I'm saying? Like the Lord said, the days have not been short for the elect's sake. Yeah. So this place was been done over with. But the elect had to be sealed. So once the elect is sealed, the Lord's gonna do away with this place, man. But it's the only why this bitch still up and running. Because the elect had to be sealed. You know? Go ahead, I this is Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood. Uh -huh. The enemy shall come in like a flood. Now, now, to my young grab, Revelation 12 and 12. They said the enemy shall come in like a flood and grab that, bro, or fix the answer. He comes out like a man, man, square and on. I see all, all this linked up together. All right, all the link up together. Cause it just said the enemy shall come in like a flood. And you know what a flood do? All right, the flood come in and it's, it's a big, you know what I'm saying? Whoosh! Yeah. No, really, just take everything away in, in, in one sweep. That's a flood. It's a sweep. It's a sweep. <laughs> so the enemy gonna come in on, on a sweep. Sweep and sweep. Go ahead, bro. This is Re Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Right. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. So the Lord telling us to rejoice. Why? Because the Lord said the kingdom of heaven dwell in what? Within you. Why are we rejoicing? Because of our salvation. Kahala yeah. Yabashi whole heaven in. You know? We desire these things, man. We desire the Lord to come to destroy this place. Because we know when the Lord destroyed Babylon the Great, aka America, Guess what? The kingdom of heaven is gonna be established. And the curse is gone, man. It's, it's over with. They're gonna go, they gonna ship to our enemies. So that's something that we desire to see. Just like the apostles are old. They, they were desiring to see that day. Yeah. Alright? So that's why the Lord said, rejoice ye heaven. And he that dwell in it. Rejoice. Go ahead. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Now he's flipping. He telling us to rejoice. But then he said, destruction to you other motherfuckers. <laughs> that sound like some of the people down in Florida. You know what I told them to rejoice because they know what's up. Yay! <laughs> We've been to win. But they said, <laughs> no, they It's like a, a game. One team winning, one team losing. Yeah. Oh, y'all was winning. Y'all was up by 20. Now, now we done came back. Five. Now we up by five, and it's two seconds on the clock. Game on over. Ooh, we? We know who we and we got the ball. We know who win the series, though. <laughs> the ah, ah, it's two seconds on the clock, and we got the ball. Nah, it's over with. It's over with. Oh, now, who rejoicing? We will. Really so now, they got the sad face. Yeah. That's why the Lord said, war to you. You see? War to you. Hey, you got my smoke up in the car. Go ahead, Doc. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and right. of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you. The who? The devil come down unto you. The devil mean what? The deceiver, the false accuser, which goes back to who? The so-called white man. He's gonna come down upon you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, Spanish, which is going to what? The Lord's gonna take the pleasure what? Out the earth. You see? The Lord's gonna take pleasure out the earth, man. And it's gonna be straight up chaos. You see? It's going to be straight up madness for you people. How much we got to come out here and tell you and warn you? The Lord going to fuck this place up, man. That's right. That's right. If you don't repent, he's going to fuck you up with it. Because the hand joined the hand. We're not going to punish. punish. God damn, man. Go ahead, huh? Heaven great rough. Because he know that he had but a short time. That's why the enemy is gonna come in like a flood. Why? Because he know he had but a short time to do what he gotta do. Because at the end of the day, it's a chess. It's a chess game. Yeah. Nigga, y'all ahead move, nigga. I'm gonna move too. <laughs> that don't move, I'm gonna move too. Hey, look like he coming out with more boosters. He telling you that 15,000 people gonna get fucked All up. All of a sudden. Yeah, and on Christmas, 16,000 people gonna die. Just drop in. On, in an article, I... Prophesying. Oh, yeah, what? He, 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 he know. He doing what he's supposed to do. That's how you know that he coming down, having a great round, because he know he had no but a short time. No. You see? 
Yeah. But go ahead, get that again, then we're going to go straight into the Ecclesiastes. I got, I got one for you. Huh? Huh. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. Oh, yeah. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west uh -huh. and his glory from the rising of the sun. Right. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard. And that's the thing right there. See? The spirit of the Lord going to lift up a standard. All right? So that's their head. That's the protection that the Lord is going to have for them. Oh, that's good. Then I said the angel of camping around about them that what? Through the Lord. All right? So the Lord going to lift up a standard, man, when this so-called white man come down, man, have a great round. But grab that Ecclesiastes that's going to go. Right, I got, 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 got one this. for you. That's the spirit, though. He was had, Yeah, yeah. You I made it through that, huh? You, you had me on the 71. He pulled up 70. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. I can read that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your thing. Yeah. This uh, second answer is 16. It's 70. Yeah. Huh. Man, yeah, this whole yeah, chapter good, yeah. man. I'm like trying to see if I should start up with it. We'll we get right to it. Okay. This is the point right here. Second answer 16 to 70. Right. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Who? A who? Upon those that fear the Lord, and he, and even with that, I ain't just talking about us up here, because we feel you have by Shema Shai, but you got so-called Christians, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans who who uh, believe in Caesar, you know, these Christians, they out here, man, y'all, they coming for y'all ass too, man, yeah. they, they got hatred for Jacob, man, right. period. Hey, hey, it called what? Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble, man. He, he just said the elect trouble. Yeah. Or those that believe trouble. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, man. He saw it coming. Hey, 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 motherfucker on this side. Yeah. And, that, and that's the, uh, that's the stupidity, yeah, once again, of our people. Especially the ones that didn't know. For you to fall out and go away from this truth. It's All right. For one, because you, your face already on the camera. So you, you know, you've been out doing the videos. Now you can't. Now you ain't got no head. Yeah, though. but yeah, now you have no protection. Yep. You ain't got no protection. Read that again. Now we got the word for that. This is uh, Second Ezra, sixteen and seventy. Yep. For for there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection a upon what? a great insurrection. Which is which is going to that standard? Because when you go into that word insurrection, you get it out. This is insurrection in the entomology, right. early 15th century, huh. an uprising against civil authorities. A who? A uprising against civil authority. See? You see that? You see how the Lord is going to protect us? It said it it's going to be an insurrection of what? Those that what? It says, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. See? You see that? You see how the Lord is going to protect us? Yeah. So when Esau thinks that he's going to put us in jail, <laughs> the Lord is going to make a way. Dang them. They're like the apostles. They, they were put in jail. They were locked up. But what happened? The angel let them out. Put the nigga to sleep. <laughs> had an earthquake happen. You remember? Right. Open the doors up. <laughs> Why he sleep? Why he sleep? Hey, hey, he sleep? hey, hey that's how you, you know the Lord. An earthquake happened. Knocked the doors loose. <laughs> Yeah, and then the jello, he was about to kill himself. Hey, uh, hey, 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 look. Hey, he was knocked out. Hey, yeah, he was knocked out. He woke up everybody. You know I'm going to take myself out. Hey, I'm about to win. Yeah, I'm through. <laughs> hey, and tell him, hey, no, hey, hey, we still in here. Yeah. Don't do, it, don't, don't do yourself no harm, man. Come on. Don't kill yourself, dude. That's the power you have about sitting on his side, man. That's right. Hey, you got, that's what I say real quick. Second answer, two or three. Real quick, uh, this is the proof. See, see what it is, bro. We out here speaking. You know what I'm saying? You know we we we, we doing our thing. But guess what? You gotta believe. Fuck Jesus. Fuck what Jesus said, because you know Jesus had this song. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. That whole puppet. But no, you actually got to believe, man. Because guess what? We ain't gonna we ain't gonna be out here. We might not have each other when time comes. The law that we believe and we have a faith, we can achieve it. You see that? Yeah. You guys to believe, man. We ain't out here for shit, bro. Second half of what? Two and ten. Two and ten? He said, that's said the Lord to Israel's tell my people that I would do. Oh, a piece of gas is just a rock to the roof. Yeah, it's a rock to the roof. It's locked. Yeah.
So, bro, we have to believe at the end of the day, man. Because this scripture we're going to read, we'll say everything in the fourth time we're here for what? I'm learning. When you learn somewhat, you remember. It's a knowledge and wisdom and understanding because the scriptures say without that getting what? You don't understand it. So when you understand something, you done learned it. You see, you done learned it. All right? You got it out. Slap me with it. Right, go ahead. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 2 and 10. It says, look at the generations of old. Hey, right. it said, look at the generation of old. So now we got to go back into, you know what I'm saying, the apostles, the prophets. You know what I'm saying, the true believers. And, and look what they went through. Look what the Lord brought them from. Look how they were delivered out of their situation. So that's why the Lord said, if they really four time with our life, because now we gotta look back how the Lord delivered them out of their situation. You see that? And then put it to our modern day time, the Lord gonna deliver us too. Now that, you think the Lord is, is, is gonna leave us hanging? Really? You think the Lord really gonna leave us hanging? No. The Lord gonna deliver us too. But with faith. Because it said without faith, it's impossible. It's impossible to please the Lord without faith, man. But you gotta have faith, man. You gotta believe, man, that He is. And He is a rewarder. Go ahead, man, they bro. They go back to, uh, uh, like you say, faith. But they go back to, you know, hey, men out here that don't wanna put their put they life on the line, don't wanna get it, make their body a living sacrifice for Yah by Shema But when But when that time comes, well, you're going to need him, all right? He's he going to do you the same way. Yeah. Oh, and this know? scripture. I'll I, I come, I, I come get you later. That, that's scripture. You know? that it, that's it, what it, niggas uh, do, man, when, 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 when uh, 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 it is we out here right now making that sacrifice, man. You know, uh, 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 putting ourselves out there for the Lord. So when that time of trouble come, we good, all right? We, when, when that time of trouble come, we can we can we can rely we can go to our our our, our uh, power source. Yeah, yeah. In Psalm ninety one, we can run into your house as our as our protector and our fortress, man. You know right, our shield. Ah, you gonna even slap me with my real quick. Go ahead, ah. This Luke twelve and nine, but he that denied me before men shall be denied before the angels. One more time. He, this is Luke twelve and nine. Said what? He that denied me before men. Should be denied before the angels of Yahweh Shemaiah. Come on, bro. Yeah. Like you just said, huh? Yeah. So if, if they want to come out here and make their body live a sacrifice, well, I, I, I never knew you, nigga. Right. You don't call me now. Right. I'm gonna yeah. let you figure it out, man. Yeah. You were scared. You yeah. know, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you to your. You know. <laughs> hey, you deny me. Hey, listen, the Lord may get you, but hey, you ain't no telling how much hell you might have to go through and catch before. You know what I'm saying? The Lord get you out of the situation. Because of what? You you scared to, you scared to uh uh come out and, and profess his name, man. Uh -huh. you, you, you scared to come out here now. You fearful. The Lord like, hey man. I don't wanna lose my child. Yeah. This is all I got. I believe, but man, what if what if my mama need to see me? It ain't <laughs> yeah, yeah. What if my boss? <laughs> yeah, what if my boss see me? Nigga, <laughs> fuck your boss. Hey, if I may add, you scared to come out here and teach when they doing stupid shit like this. Right. But I'd be happy to teach. It's an honor to teach and do the work of your house by shit my shop. Going the wrong way down the one way. Man, a police had to tell her that. Yeah, to get out of this car. That's right. what you're doing. Yeah. But anyway. Snap shit out of him, too. What the fuck? He's stupid just like her ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Look, man. Yeah. Well, right. Anyway, man, hey, the Lord, the Lord is going to protect those that that been riding with him from day one. The day ones, man. The ones that's, that the ones that's putting their life on the line, man. Like you know, the master would say, give it giving your life and your freedom to do so. Hey, you best believe, man. Esau, Esau hate this, man. He hate what we doing, but he can't do nothing to stop it, man. Hey, I fuck with Drake now. Since you said that, I gotta listen to that when we get uh when we get uh teaching. No new friends, no new friends. Hey, I'm just no, thinking no, it no, is.
No new friends. Lord, don't deal with new friends, man. No. Yeah, you, you jump on the bench. You motherfucker. <laughs> All you goddamn right. Golden State Warrior fans ass right. niggas, man. <laughs> 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 niggas man, right. jump on. Yeah, bandwagon. Yeah, niggas man. jump on the bandwagon. <laughs> right. Oh, man, I've been riding with you. I've been riding with you. Golden State. I've been with you. You know how nigga he is, man. Yeah. They just started Damn, winning man. a couple years ago. You right. been with them when yeah. they losing. Yeah. Where the fuck you been at, man? Nigga, man. Yeah, they that That's my That's team, man. I got cousins in Oakland, nigga. I fuck with Golden State. I was like, I seen this nigga. Old yeah, right, right. I seen this nigga. Oh, oh, man. Man. Nigga post the post, right? Uh, Memphis Tiger kicked somebody out of the ass last week. And he said, well, I guess I can go on, come back and be a Memphis Tiger fan. Right. right. Really? Right. Yeah, really? These niggas all the way around, man, with, it, with everything good. Right. Let's show you that Jake. You know what I mean? That was a little cussing their ass out. Like, y'all ain't y'all in here really to, to, to believe in me. Y'all just here for the food. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 That was a little cussing their ass out like that. Yep. Yeah. You know? real, though. You gonna eat it. Hey, right. you heard of Justin Bieber. That's spiritual food. You know what I mean? That nigga like shit. That nigga called me straight. What a chicken nigga. Right. Let me get some more hot sauce, y'all. Yeah. Soon, 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 soon the food is gonna lay on. Right. Soon the drink gone, they gone. Right, right. Soon as you eat out of food, a fight break out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I ain't even know I forgot. I just had to go do this. Right. Yeah. Make an excuse, Jake, man. Jake got full as hell. Yeah. He ain't shit. But come on, look at the generation of old. All right. right. Uh, Ecclesiastes 2 and 10. Right. Look at the generations of old the what? and see that ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. See that? So that's why I trust got alive then. Because he said, look at the generation of old. Have any ever trust in the Lord, man? And was confounded. Go ahead. He says, or did any abide in his fear? Uh, uh, or any abide in his fear? <laughs> Go ahead. And was forsaken. And was forsaken. Remember. The angel are capping around about them that fear the Lord. So when you abide in the fear of the Lord, and you doing what people are telling him, guess what? You're going to be secure. You're going to be covered. Because what? He is a shield unto them that put what? That trust in him. And you have to fear him. You see that? Yep. Come on, bro. You can't make this up. You cannot make this up, man. The Lord is a shield unto them, man. He gonna protect you. Why? Because you fear him and you doing what he told you to do. What he commanded you to do, man. To the best of your ability. You see? That's what he want, man. He want, he want you to be in that position where you gotta trust him. You gotta you got follow to. him. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no other way. And that's how it is, man. <laughs> what you like, say? I'm gonna walk out on faith. Right. I'm gonna, yeah, you gotta step out on faith. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. But do it, do it, do it in righteousness. Yeah. Do it through the spirit of your high by Shemal Shah. Don't do it cornerly. All right? Don't lean to your own understanding. You're talking about I'm going to walk out on the faith. Right. You're going to walk out and get your ass or slap the shit out of it. Right. You got to do it in the spirit of your high by Shemal Shah, man. Right, Me, right. First of all, what you got to do? You got to seek counsel. Yeah. See? You got to act. Hey, what, what if I do this? What, you know, right. That's how you do that. And then, once the Lord gives you that confirmation <laughs> to the brothers, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, cool, I, I can make that move. Then you can walk out on faith. You see? But leading to your own understanding, you try to walk out on faith, hey, oh, you gonna right. fuck up. Hey, if I made it, even Jonah tried to run away from the Lord, what the Lord do? Swoosh his ass over there, hey. <laughs> Jonah said, well, <laughs> I, I, I ain't got no choice now, y'all. He is so little. He is so weak. I try to run too many times. Yeah. See? Go ahead, huh? It says, Go ahead. Uh, Ecclesiastes 2 and 10. Go ahead. 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 Go Okay? Don't be no fucking hypocrite. You gotta call upon your high by some outside and spirit and truth, man. You see? And who he despised? Oh, Look at the generation of old. 
I love the, 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 the one story that I do love, bro, when the Lord had Habakkuk to uh, 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 appear in the lion den with Daniel. Bro, bro, to the prophet. Bro, to, bro, do you hear me? Man, do you know you keep it up? And Habakkuk, like, it, 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 it's so crazy because Habakkuk was in his mind, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna get my shit together. I'm gonna, he probably get prepped Hab for the night. He was doing, Habakkuk was doing it for his workers. He yeah. was still doing good. Yeah. He's like, I'm cooking for my work, you know what I'm yeah. saying? The Lord, like, hell no. He's trying to go and get the angel got him by the top of the head. Yeah. 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 He took it. He took it. He took it. Yeah. 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 Matter of fact, 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 matter of Yep, I got it. All right, and then the brother can grab it a day or two, though. Oh, uh, you got it. Yep. Go this ahead, now. This is Bell and the Dragon, verse 34. Nah, verse 33. Now there was a jury, a prophet, called Habakkuk. A uh who? -huh. A jury, a prophet, called Habakkuk. Right. Who had, who had made pottage and had broken bread in a bowl and was going into the field or to bring it to the reef. See that? So he was already like, okay, I gotta go ahead and feed these men. Yeah. So let me go ahead and prep this up real quick. But well, he not knowing he's prepping it for Daniel. You see how cold the Lord is? Yeah. He had him, he had him on the bed. Oh, I'm going ahead and so he had me one mind, I'm going ahead and do this for the workers because y'all know they hungry. Once <laughs> they've been doing this all day, so I'm going ahead and cook it up real quick. But not knowing, he's gonna go and get us today. You see? So who however the Lord despised? Because Daniel was a what? A faithful son. You see that? Daniel was faithful, man. Even one that had believed, man. You see? Go ahead, bro. But the angel of the Lord said unto Habakkuk, right. Go and carry the dinner that thou hast into Babylon unto Daniel. He's like, huh? Huh? Go ahead, now. Watch that. He gonna watch it. He's going to say it. He's going to play. Oh, go ahead. Who is in the lion's den? Who and what? Who was in the lion's den? You got that in Daniel Hawk. I'm gonna get it right now, bro. Uh, yep. Go ahead, I'll real quick. Hold it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> all right. And they're not gonna make what happened to say. I was like, I don't even know about you all that. Meanwhile, Daniel never. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, now. Hold on, I'm trying to find the part where he was in there. Get ready to eat. When they throw, throw him in the lion's den? Oh, when they threw him in there. Yeah. All right. This and that's what he was reading. That, uh, this is, Daniel was in the lion then. All right. This Go is ahead. Daniel 6 and 16. Go ahead. Then the king commanded and brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Oh. This will show you precept upon precept. Line upon line. Here a little, there a little. Which is the whole book, right? Yes. The See? Whole the whole book. Which is what? The hundred percent what? True. You see? Because here it is. This is the old term. This is the pocketbook. But they say the pocketbook is not supposed to be in the Bible. Oh, you really? You really? But you see how it lined up? Go ahead, bro. It says, Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, right. Thy power whom thou servest continually, will, he will deliver thee. So the king knew. The king already knew that he didn't want to do it. He didn't know because he knew. He really didn't want to do it, but he, he knew. <laughs> hey, he knew who Daniel you was through the spirit. Like, damn, man, yeah. your, your power going to deliver you. Yeah, yeah, because when you go back up, you were bound by his word. Yep. And he was a king, so, you know, a king can't go back on his word. Mm -hmm. So when he said that whoever had did this, it was going, there was the consequences. Yeah. So that the three motherfuckers. He threw their you know ass in there. Yeah, because no bitch ass niggas that lied on Daniel. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? But that's how you know TC had a little work. Yeah, balance it out. You know what I'm saying? So they end up getting the the the, the uh the last end of the stick instead yeah. of Daniel. Yeah, yeah. But they try to uh you know what I'm saying get Daniel the last end of the stick. Yeah, he tried to. He tried but the to king was bound by his word. Yeah. He, he didn't want to. Keep going though on there. Verse 17. Right. And a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet, 
and with the signet of the Lord, yep. and Pope and proposed, right. might not be changed concerning things. Right, go ahead. Then the king went into his palace and passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him. Right, because he was like, damn, that's how he was thinking about Daniel right. and lions there. And he <laughs> know that he knows that he has starved them lions for six, seven days. So he's like, man, them lions gonna eat Daniel ass up. Yeah. But he know that Daniel was a prophet. He knew Daniel was a man of the Lord. So he was like, yo, 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 I know your power gonna deliver you. Yep. But he know that the lion is lying, so he like these real pieces that I have in this in this damn this den. But then he like a damn, so he like fuck. So his mind is really in a rage. He couldn't even get no motherfucking sleep. That's why I say he ain't even play no music. Yep. Go ahead, bro. It says neither were instruments or music brought before him. Right. And his sleep went from him. See, he, he couldn't, couldn't even get sleep. no sleep. <laughs> he couldn't get no sleep, man. He got me like, he got me. Yeah. You know what I mean? He drinking it. The women he finally came. No the, the women came in. He like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. Get, get, get <laughs> out of my face. <laughs> I got David down in the line there. Yeah, I don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Then the king arose very early in the morning right. and went in haste into the lion's den. Ooh. And when he came into the den, he cried with the what is that? Lamentable, lamentable voice right. to Daniel. He and the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living power. See, the, the who? The servant of the living power. Which is Yahweh. You see that? Here's the living power, man. That's the, that's the power that we serve, man. Go ahead, bro. He says, Is thy power whom thou service continually able to deliver thee from the lion. You see that? So who the Lord despised that called upon him? That put their trust in him? No one. Hey, ho, he go right go here. Go ahead, bro. This ain't nothing but a faith booster, man. Yeah. You gotta believe. At the end of the day, why they got delivered, he believed. And we're gonna get into it in the next. This is a movie. This is a movie, huh? Because it tells you what happened to Daniel, but here go the details why Daniel was in the lion's den. You know what I'm talking about? Come on, bro. Go ahead, Doc. Huh? All right. Daniel 6 and uh, 21. Then said Daniel to the king, O king, live, uh, o king, live forever. My power has sent his angel and have shut the, the lion's mouth. He said, who? My power has sent his angel and have shut the lion's mouth. He said the angel. See, the Lord has sent the angel down. Did not the Lord say he controlled all things? You see that? So he put the spirit on the, on the, on the lion to don't even fuck with Daniel. You see that? That's the power that we serve. And you know how them lions was home as fuck. Yep. You, see, you see Esau on them damn... <laughs> On those videos on YouTube, how they are jumping the lion's den and get their ass mauled by a tiger. Or you know what I'm saying? That would show no motherfucking mercy. But look what the Lord has <laughs> did for his servant, the prophets, man. He shut the mouth of them, man. He made them to be at peace with Daniel. You see? So how much the Lord gonna do for us when time comes, when when the trouble comes for us? Greater when work. Esau tried to throw us in a in a in a in a, in a, in a uh, river of alligators. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Put us in a pool of sharks. Yeah. Esau got, you got to remember, this fucking devil gonna do some things, man. But when he do that to us, the Lord gonna have the spirit on them to be jumping with us. Said, Leave the, us alone. They said the beast of the field should be in peace with hey, you. Hey, 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 and this don't, hey, that's so beautiful too, because right, when you go back to Genesis, the third chapter, he gave Adam dominion over the what? Five, the earth, Lord over the earth. Come on, man. You can make this up, man. Go ahead, bro. Hey, I got to read that. Go ahead, go ahead, right. Because we're going to get into this, bro. All right. It's this wasn't the beautiful stories in the scriptures. Go ahead, bro. It said, my power has sent his angel and, the, and has shut the lion's mouth that they should not hurt me for as much as before him innocence was found in me. Who? Innocence was found in me. Why innocence was found in Daniel? Because he believed. Yeah. He did what the Lord, he did what was pleasing unto the Lord. Let me say that. 
Yes. Daniel did what was pleasing unto the Lord. That's why innocent, just like us. You see? It ain't gonna be no no guilt, no flaw, no nothing gonna be in, into the elect Lord will if we continue. Right. All right? You see that? We don't have no guile. You understand? When the Lord comes back, that's why he put us through what he put us through now. So we're gonna be wet made perfect. See, go ahead, Doc. Said, and also before thee, O oh king, have I done no hurt. See? And then, he didn't do no hurt. Because he rather serve you how about you know what I'm what? Serve man. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take up take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, right. and no manner of hurt was found upon him because he believed in, in his power. He believed who? He believed in his power. So when a so-called white man do come down having great wrath, man, yeah, you might have to go into the concentration camp. You might get put in prison. You might have to go through this and that. Guess what? Where your faith lies in there? Where your trust in <laughs> You see that? Because the whole time, Daniel still prayed and believed on who? You have by Shimon on shot. So go back, right back to, oh. to, to Sirach 10, I mean, 2 or 10, who he ever despised and called upon him. Yeah. You see that? You can't make this up. Go ahead, though. Nah, I was just going to say, hey, look, and now, now look what happened to the niggas that tried to, uh, uh, you know, yeah, get Daniel. Daniel fucked stop. up, yeah. yeah. All right. You got these whole ass niggas like right, that. Go right. ahead, bro. Hey, hey, this is what it's saying. Verse, it's Daniel 6 and 24. It says, and the king commanded, and they brought those men which had accursed Daniel. And they and they casted them into the den of lions. Oh, now, now we're going to see how the spirit work of the Lord. Go right. ahead. Then, I mean, it's like it, them, their children, and their wives. The whole family. Everybody. Everybody got to go. <laughs> he said the them, the children, and their wives. Yep. All of them got to go. Yep. So the lion ain't good. <laughs> them motherfuckers ain't good. Go ahead, bro. And the lions had the mastery of them and break all their bones in pieces forever. <laughs> they came at the bottom of the den. Damn. Bro, the lion had a feast. They tore their ass up. Bro, it's like their birthday. To the bone. Come it's like their birthday, y'all. Yeah. It was a nah. feast. Yeah. 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 They had children. They had tenders. Everybody. You know what I'm they had tenders, french fries, yeah. burgers. Zebra case. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's it. And the Lord took the spirit off them. You yeah. see how the Lord put the spirit on the, on the lions not to fuck with Daniel? Then he took the spirit off them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's go to that, the Habakkuk, because we got to see what was going on while Daniel was in the, in the lion den. Right. That's why it's so beautiful. Right, go ahead, brother. Back and Bill and the dragon. Yeah. But the angel of the Lord said unto Habakkuk, Go and carry the dinner that thou hast into Babylon unto Daniel, who was in the lion's den. Go ahead, watch it, go ahead. And Habakkuk said, Lord, I never saw Babylon, neither do I know where the den is. I never saw Babylon, neither do I know where the hell the den is you talking about. So how the hell am I going to go and, and, and feed Daniel when I don't even know what you're talking about? This is how you know, bro, when you're going to 2 Kings 2, all right, or going to uh, Elijah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You like, like, hey, 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 hey this, this gets cold, bro. Cause, but he had the the the, the fire, uh, falcon or whatever, the, the, uh, uh, the what they just call the raven yeah. to feed him. You yeah. see? So we're gonna be good, bro. All we gotta do is continue to keep the faith and hold fast with our hands, and no man take away our crown with salvation. With salvation lies within what the mind. All right, go ahead, bro. Then the angel of the Lord took him by the crown. The what? The crown. The Lord. Hey, hey, the angel said, okay, I got you. So here it is. You finna disappear and reappear. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do that for you. And Esau had the moves like that. Even on, on more to come back. Who can do that on more to come back? Hey, that, that that little dude on uh uh X Men, the blue the blue guy, Night he can Wayne. touch your ass. Yeah. Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler, yeah. Nightcrawler can touch you, man. Just just you with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he turn into whatever it is. He blend in with the wall. Wow. Uh, just transfer your ass. Wow. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, you really here? All you gotta do is touch him. Hold him. <laughs> <laughs> 
You got it now. Yep. That's the power, man. The power. That's the power. Go, <laughs> Go ahead, top. The angel of the Lord took him by the crown and buried him by the hair of his head who? and through the vehemency of this of his spirit. So who the vehemence of his spirit go ahead. set him in the Babylon over the dead. So now, ooh, ooh. Quick. Right. But he still had the move though. See the power of the Lord? Yeah. You see the power of y'all by surround God? He done took me for a while of it. All the way to a day was that I still got the food from her. Quick, at an instant, of looking of an eye. Go ahead, bro. And Habakkuk cried, saying, Oh, Daniel, Daniel, take the dinner which you have by Shema Shah have sent you. Now go back into that, bro, because it says, My Lord has sealed the mouth of the lion. Go back to that. Yep, then go right back to that part. Right, uh, right here. Go ahead. This is Daniel 6 and 22. Watch this. My power has sent his angel and have shut them the lion's mouth. All right, go ahead now. Go read, read that again, please. It says, it's so, no, not that one. Go ahead. And I never saw Babylon, neither do I know where the dead is. Right. And the angel of the Lord took him by the crown and bare him by his hair of his head right. through the vehemency of his spirit right. and set him in Babylon over the den. Right. And Habakkuk cried, saying, no, Daniel, Daniel, Take the dinner with you. How about Shema and Shai have sent thee? See? So you see how the Lord sealed the mouth of the lion? Because. What? Food. Bro. They smell food. They ain't eight or six days, huh? And they smell food. Good food, too. You know, if it's seasoned right. You know what I'm mean? saying? Cook. You know what I'm mean? saying? It's light. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. What? He even had that. We and we've been a fight over that. So guess who gonna win? The 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 the, 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 uh, the big dog. Out of them, out of them six lions gonna win. And that's who's gonna eat. Big <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the king. The king yeah. gonna eat. Go ahead, bro. Daniel said that thou has remembered me. Daniel said what? Daniel said thou has remembered me. Alright, now go back to that. Hey look, go back to that. It said, it said, Daniel said that, uh, to, to Yahweh, thou have remembered me. Yeah. Thou have what? Remember me. You see that? Why? Because Daniel was a faithful servant. He believed in Yahweh. Uh, Go ahead, Doc. Uh, trying to see what that's it. You said remember? I believe. Because uh, he believed in uh -huh. his power. Yeah. He, let me start over. Uh huh. Yeah, start right there. I'll read it down. It's cool. Uh, all right. This is Daniel 6 and 23. Uh -huh. Then the king was exceeding glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found upon him because he believed in his power. He believed in the Lord. So he's saying, he told the Lord, man, you remember me. Because he didn't have no food. Remember how long Daniel was in there? Daniel had nothing to eat. Well, here it is. The Lord had put the spirit on Habakkuk and placed him in, 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 in the lion's den with Daniel to just to feed him. And then what the Lord showed Daniel. Oh, you see? Bro, you can't make this up. I, and, 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 and the thing is, it's going to happen again. The Lord is with us, bro. But you got to believe that. We've been put in a certain situation because it's just in our faith. But guess who with us? The Lord with us the whole time. Because he said that he gonna deliver us. Remember he said, he that brought these plagues upon you shall deliver you out of the hands of the enemy. Okay. Because I don't wanna put you in that situation. Hey, hey, also at the end of the day, man, the Lord controls everything. 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 So you know he in full control, man. Ain't nothing out of his, you know what I'm saying, reach or grass like, ah oh, man. Ooh, it it's out. The how was like, ah, oh, hey, he in the situation. Uh, I, 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 I don't know how I'm gonna bring, bring him out of this situation, one. man. <laughs> I'm like, don't make it. Hey, like, really? No, nah, man. Hey, it tells you nothing is impossible when you have us in my side. All things yeah. is possible. With the Lord. Uh, yeah, wrong with you. Go ahead, Doc. I got some up. It's quick. Yeah, it's a quick one. Go ahead, Doc. This is Joe chapter 5, verse 19. Oh, yeah. 
He shall deliver thee in six troubles. He said who? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Go ahead. Yeah, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. See? Shall no evil trust touch thee, man. Yeah. Quit playing, man. Go ahead, Doc. Let's look on that. In famine, he shall redeem thee from and, death. He said what? In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. So we're going to be straight. We're going to eat. Yeah. Didn't I say that, bro? He said, my servants shall eat, but they shall be hungry. Yeah. My servants shall drink, but they shall be thirsty. Yeah. My servants shall rejoice, but they're going to be mourning. Come on, man. So in famine, the Lord going to take care of us. But it ain't to say that, oh, yeah, we're going to be eating every day, we're going to be eating steak, we're going to, you know what I'm saying, we're going to have lamb. Right. No, the Lord going to make sure we have our daily bread. And also the Lord said fast, because guess what, you might not eat every day. But man should not live by bread alone. By what? Every word. Right. So sometimes, guess what's going to keep us full? This word. Spirit, yeah. You see? So the Lord got it all mapped out. It's just how you're going to have to play it within your trust in him. You see? And that's why a lot of people gonna be assed out. A lot of people gonna be assed out, man, because they can't go uh, uh, two hours out eating. Yeah, they like the, them, them Israelites in the wilderness, man. Oh, you know? man. The Lord done fed them down and, uh, uh, and quail from heaven. Them niggas still complaining, man. Complaining, bro. Oh, we, we, he let us out here to die? Nah, look, nah. What, what, the, what the sad part was, they're trying to get a uh uh go play. Yeah. Right. <laughs> he, he said, said, he said, he said, he said get, get all you can go. get. He right. said get anything. That supposed to put some to go. Yeah, yeah. Man. That shit got mold all in the day. No, no, the seven. Come on, eight. No, man. Jake trying to, man, that's a nigga. <laughs> Jake trying to get the go play, man. Don't trust. Don't trust him. They could have just left it alone right there where it was and could have been fooled the whole rest of the ride. They was right there to the problem. Exactly. Right. Come on, man. Niggas. Yeah, niggas. niggas. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah chapter, I mean, this is Job chapter 5, verse, verse uh, 20. Huh. In famine he shall redeem thee from death and war from the power of the sword. Yeah. Yep, that's right, from the power of the sword. Who is the sword? So called white man also, the thermonuclear missiles. That's right. All right, so he's going to deliver us from the Why? Because the Lord going to put the spirit, Lord willing. All right, start with the apostles, man. Lord willing, man, we be delivered, man. All right, we be called up into them chairs, man. There's some nuclear missiles coming down upon Babylon the Great. All right, go back to that whole uh, Daniel, man. This I mean, is to that, yeah. building the dragon. And Daniel said, Thou hast remembered me, O Yahweh, by Shem And that's what we're going to be saying, too. O Yahweh, by Shem Abba Shah, the water. You know? You with me? Like, you know, I be like, man, you fuck with me, Yahweh, by Shem The water. Yes, I thought I was done. I thought I was done. Cause I've been in that situation, man, no time. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm in no man's land. Oh, the Lord showing up, showing out. Everything. On everything. That's a personal testimony. The Lord's with me. Go ahead, I. Neither has thou forsaken them that seek thee and love thee. Did not that answer Sarah 2 and 10? You see? He said, neither has he not forsook them that seek him, man. Seek you the Lord while he what? Maybe may be found. So you can have the mercy and the grace and the shrimp mercy of David when time comes. But if you don't, and then you choose later, you're gonna know after death by pain. It's over for you. You see? But this is the time to get right when you have by Shema Shah. I don't wanna sound like a fucking preacher, but it is true. The doors of repentance is open. <laughs> but guess what? It's closing soon. I don't want to sound like them whole ass. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. But the doors of repentance is open because the prophets are still out here on the highways and the hedges. The apostles are still out. Giving us the truth. Yeah. So that the doors of mercy is open. Yeah, you know? But soon, it's going to be closed. So get it while the getting is good because it's good to get the truth now and then later. Hey, but a lot of niggas, man, a lot of jakes, they gonna wait till the internet go down. <laughs> oh, shit, man, I'm too old. Oh, what, what's going on, man? Hey, see shit, you know, you know how niggas is. 
stuff, stuff started hitting the internet. The world, they look up. Oh man, he saw coming down. He see the tanks coming down the street. Oh shit! Got the phone, is he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jay recorded it. Damn, they said that. They said that, man. Man, I'm going out there today. Running to and fro. Yeah, running to and fro. You going out there for what? Can we go? Going out there today. Check on it. Hey, that's why he said. Hey, what he saying? They shall run to and fro. You know, looking. Yeah. Running, trying to trying to get answers. Man, where he at? Where he at? Man, right here. Yeah, I need to go with. So, so is the microchip really the 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 uh uh the mark? Or is it? Is it a spiritual mark? Cause I always thought it was season. Man, hey, ain't none of that shit gonna matter. Ain't gonna break you gonna have to have, hey, it's gonna have to be in you, bro. Yo, hey, man. read this for me, y'all. This is Psalm 37, <coughs> verse 39. But salvation of the righteous is the Lord, and he is their strength in the time of trouble. See, the Lord is gonna be our strength in that time of trouble. But we gonna we gonna know in that day. Like, hey, we gotta, hey, we gotta rely and trust in your house by Shema man. You know? That's the only thing gonna get us through, is having that faith and trust in your house by Shema At the end of the day, that's all we got, man. You know, we got the brotherhood, but every man got his own walk, man. Every man got his, you know, you gotta do this thing on your own, man. This ain't we ain't walking arm in arm, you know? <laughs> Side by side. <laughs> What's that say? Oh, work out your own salvation. Work out your own saying. salvation with fear and trembling. Yep. Every man got his own walk, man. Every man, like uh, uh, the elder Kazak was saying, every man got his own particular uh, 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 hell he got to catch, man. Uh -huh. We don't know what it is. Every brother going through something, you know? Yep. <laughs> Hey, everybody going through something. Every brother going through something. You best believe. And right now, that, that fire is up, man. The Lord <laughs> turned the heat up. Hell yeah. Man, it might be finances. Man. It might be your woman. Yourself. It might be your, 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 it might be your own head. Yeah, yourself. Yeah. You know, you battling Bound demons in your head. Yeah. It could be, it could be, yeah. you know, family members. Yeah. You know? I hate this. Your kids, they get demons on them. Daddy, you don't take me nowhere. You say you were going, man, get, shut the, get your, take your ass in there and play Fortnite, man. Fuck out my face. All right, say, we'll do that shit later, man. Daddy, we need to take the vaccine out of nowhere. You know yeah, take the vaccine. Take your, I'm gonna take your bed out yeah, of here. You know, I'm going to beat your ass. Come on, man. This shit get, uh, get very 40. This is Psalms 37 and 40. And the Lord shall help thee and deliver them, and he shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Right, right. Read it one more time, Bible Bashar. Sure. This is Psalms 37 and 40. And the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Bashar shall help them and yep. deliver them, and he shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. He's going to deliver them from the wicked because they trust in him. Yep. And that's, you can't get no plainer than that, man. You put your trust in your help by Shema Al Shah, man, he got you. He gonna help you. You know, he gonna be there to, to uh, catch you when you fall, man. He gonna be there uh, uh, like he was for Daniel, man, when Daniel caught his hell. Yeah. Because what? Daniel was doing the will, man. All right, so the Lord gonna be there for us. But all these newcomers, these new friends, like the brother was saying, you, you uh, Johnny come lately, you bandwagon <laughs> Israelite. <laughs> Bandwagon riding Israelites, man. It's Israelite. Yeah, Israelite. For real. Yeah. They want to jump on the bandwagon, man, when they, when they see it, you know. Oh, man, they was right. You know? Let me, yeah, let me go ahead and get on board, okay? I remember I seen you in well. school. And they'll start bringing up old shit. Man, I seen you in school. Like, what right. fuck school got to do with you man, right now? It's, it's about it's about being here right right here right now, being here from day one, man. You know, so the Lord will uh, 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 protect you, man. You know, now true enough, it is gonna be men to come in at that 12th year, 11th hour, man. Lick but, though. Right, right. But then we talking about the elect. I wouldn't even want to play like that, man. Right. You know, I wouldn't want to be that 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 person that you know you playing around. You know, knowing the truth, here it is. Uh, 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 you watching videos every day. You know everything we saying is true, but you too scared to get your ass out here, man. 
All right? What do you think is going to happen, man, in that day? What you think the Lord going to do? He gonna, he, you think he going to run to protect your ass when Esau got you stretched out somewhere, man? You crying upon the Lord. Oh, Lord, help me, help me, help me. Help me, please, like Pop. You know? Nah, man, you ain't, you ain't put yourself out there for, uh, yeah, how about Shema so you're going to be left to uh, deal with it, man. Uh. This is Saul's. What you got? Oh, he got, I got Psalms 91. This is Psalms. This is Psalms chapter 91, verse 9. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plants come now thy dwelling. It's just begging up Job 5 and 19, man. As long as we keep putting our trust in how about Shema Bashai and ultimately fearing and keeping those commandments, we're going to ultimately be saved, man. All right? Hey, what, uh, Bashai, grab a second edge, second edge, uh, what is it, 9 and 7? Second edge, 9 and 7. Because it's ultimately what we need, man. All right? We're going to be saved by faith, all right? And work together okay we're not gonna be them average christians that be just moving about you know doing lip service you know in the name of jesus it ain't gonna work all right this is uh this is second ezra's nine hey, give me some light bro, bro. second ezra's nine and and seven, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith where, whereby ye have believed. So, so, we, we, that. hey, we that so we ultimately gonna be saved by our works and faith, man. All right, nothing else. Yeah. That's it. It say the name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run the tour, and it's safe. Okay, it can say Jesus is a strong tower. It said right. the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And we all know who's going to have those names going back into their bed. Those that got the names. Mm -hmm. All right? The elect. The elect. Yep. It says, shall be preserved from said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them from, uh, I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Hey, first fruits. Yep, feel it, man. This is back at Psalms. This is back at Psalms chapter 91, verse 14. Because he have set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he have known my name. Mm. Mm. Woo! Yeah. I will set him on high because he have known my, my name. name. And let you know how important that name is, man. You gonna have to have that Lord's name, man, in the in the, in the day of, uh, uh, trouble. Uh, of trouble. Yeah. Who you gonna call on, man? <laughs> hey, Suits. Right. <laughs> Sweet Caesar. Help me, Lord. Kanye. Right. Yeah. Come on, man. Verse 15. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in troubles. I will deliver him in in an hour. Uh, Go ahead, keep going. And honor him. With a long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Let's talk about the elect. You know, you just talked about uh, Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7. That, that's the answer to Jeremiah 30 and 7. You know, one of them anyway. But it's, it's, it's telling you that the only way that you're going to be able to escape is through one, the name, and faith. All right, in the name and the diligence to make your election sure, right? The work that comes with the faith. Yeah. Got it, Rose. This is Psalms 34 and 7. The angel of the Lord encamping round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Yeah. Yeah. 
angels gonna, gonna be with us, man. Hey, brothers got guardian angels with us. These angels around us right now, man. Angels assigned to every brother. Man. Angels assigned to every brother, man. Hey, it's been times I know I've been in some shit, man. You know? <laughs> Jake turning his head white driving and shit. <laughs> you know, car driving itself, man. Hey, hey, hey the angels, man. They helping you, you know, guiding us, man, to keep us protected. I got them. You know, don't worry about it. You good, we good, man. At the end of the day, that's 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 our strength, that's our faith we have. Is hey, we good, man. As long as we continue on in this faith, believing and fighting in this truth, man, we good. But for, hey, hey, you niggas that came into this thing, man, and fell out, all right? Quit, quit, uh, uh, took your hand off, off the plow, the plow. you know? Yeah. Hey, you ain't gonna have no heads. You're not gonna have no protection. But you guys, man, that's out here watching the videos, taking notes, man, to go to a barber shop and cuss out your barber. Oh, man, you ain't supposed to be lining up. Don't, don't line me up, niggas, just, 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 you know? Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> you, you barbershop prophets, all right? You niggas go in there, man, to uh, 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 talk shit, man. You know, you're not, you're not actually doing the will of y'all about shit, man. You're not doing the work. You're not putting your hand to the plow. You're being fearful, man. Idle you know? hands. Right. Doing it, doing it uh, uh, for, for uh, uh, vanity, man. Just to, you know, have people to, oh, man, it's going to deep. Yeah. But they spirit not really in it. Right. Yeah. Oh. Brother got something? Brother got something? Oh. Oh. This is um Second Peter's chapter two, verse nine. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation uh. and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. Right. Hey, that day coming, man. The unjust is gonna be punished, man. And, and the godly, he's gonna, he's gonna protect, man. He's gonna have their heads around, man. You know, the men that that uh, uh, made their bodies a living sacrifice for him. Okay, you know, the men that 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 confessed his name, man. That's that's what we were just going into. That name is important, man. You gotta have the name, man. You can't be ashamed to to uh, confess the name of Yahweh by Shema Shah, man. Jake don't, don't even want to, uh, you got so-called Israelites, man, still call no Christ, man. The fuck is wrong with you niggas, man? Man. Oh, yeah, it did. Apostle, 2021. Pastor Hart made a cut so cold, man. Mm -hmm. I should, I need, I need to edit it <laughs> and uh, put it in a video. So he was like, how you I see if you have a member who comes into your congregation named Jesus yes. or Jesus, yep. do we got to change his name? You know? To a Hebrew name, so he got he would have to change his name to a Hebrew name, but the Lord don't have to have a Hebrew name. Man, that's a cut, man. That's a cut, man. You know, you don't got you don't even got to come back for that. You know, that just show you how the how the spirit working, man. Y'all got it, bro. Hey, that just let you know, though, man, how powerful that name is, man. You know, like you were saying, man, you got you got men out here that wanna uh uh they wanna be referred to in their Hebrew name, but you won't call the Lord in his though? Yeah. That don't, that make no sense, don't man. Make no sense. You know? they, they, they wanna be called chief and shit, but can't basically say the Lord's name, man. Right. Don't give him honor and reverence. <laughs> Yeah. This is Malachi 3 and 16. Yeah. Then they that feared the Lord, Yahweh by Shimi Shah, spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the Lord yeah. Read it all the way through 18. We'll close it out. Yeah. But you got it out. Yeah. Yeah. This is Malachi 3 and 16. Then they that feared the Lord, Yahweh by Shimi Shah, spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord, Yahweh by Shimi Shah, and that thought upon his name. Right, and who's doing that, man? The Lord, the Lord's elect, man, the chosen, man. Those men who were uh, uh, chosen from the foundation, man. They're calling upon his name, man. Keep going. Verse 17. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts. In that day when I make my up my jewels, 
and I will spare them as a man spared his own son that served him. <laughs> then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the most high and him that serveth him not. Right. Hey, that's it, man. How hey. you gonna serve him? You don't know his name. Come on, man. <laughs> you gonna make that clear distinction, man. All right. This this guy here was called on Most High Christ blessed. And this guy here was calling on yeah, how about Shema was shot, man? Who you think gonna be delivered, man, in that time of trouble? If I ask you who you work for, you gonna say, you got a job, I ask you who you work for. I don't even know. Nigga, you might well be like Tommy all Walmart, nigga. Right. You ain't got, yeah, no, got, got, got no job. Man. You ain't got no job, yeah, man. You talking about you don't know who you work for. Yeah, you yeah. Are, <laughs> 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 I don't know his name. <laughs> you don't know, nobody know his name. Come on, man. What's your name? Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, you want to close it up? Hey, so with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson for the elect. Once again, we want to give our praises and glory to. Yahweh, Yahweh, All right, give double honor to the elders, apostles, and GMS. Say, chasing and blessed to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.